CNC, this is Michael, I can open, we're op we open up for her. What's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about superstitions. Like most cultures, the Middle East has tons of them that people believe in. The most commonly known one obviously is the evil eye. Hit with a fan. Uh, that basically means if anything bad happens to you, you can blame it on one of your haters. Okay, superstition number one, upside down shoe or hafaya. Upside down shoe hafaya means a, a, a conflict or a fight is going to happen between two, especially usually the wife and the husband. The reason that people believe it brought bad luck was because in the old days, the dirt floors, spiders and scorpions would crawl into the shoe and sometimes kill people. Superstition number two, whistling at night. That means it's going to bring the the snakes up. And apparently most of the internet has never heard of the snakes. I think that was just our dad's way of keeping us quiet and going to sleep at night. What it looks like it came from was people thought there are evil spirits roaming at night and whistling will call them to you to become their next prey. Number three, itchy hands. When your left hand itches, that means you're getting money. You're getting a fortune. If your right hand itches, that means you're going to shake hands with somebody that you haven't seen for a long time. Almost. It's funny that my dad apparently got them backwards, which makes a lot of sense. Everybody on the internet says, No, the right, right, right hand brings money. No, no, no. Right <laughs> hand shaking. You <laughs> left with hand the right hand. Means the left hand, you take money. And left hand means you're going to meet someone new. And also, I don't know if you know this one, they say if you scratch it, the money goes away. Don't scratch it. You've been scratching your hands for 20 years, I That's think. That's why my money is gone. <laughs> Four. Twitchy eyes. I'm not sure which one is right. If the left eye twitches, that means you're gonna hear a bad news. If right eye twitches, that means you're gonna see somebody you haven't seen for a long time. Okay, so apparently he got that one right. Sometimes seeing someone you haven't seen in a long time can be bad news too, right? Number five, buzzing in your ears. That somebody is talking about you. Somebody is saying bad things about you or somebody is saying good things about you. I think this is probably because our dad is very paranoid and anxious. He took it one step further. When his ears start buzzing, he starts reciting the alphabet. And whatever letter that the buzzing stops on, if it stops on the letter T, that means someone whose name starts with the letter T is talking about him. Number six, Hamal Tizo. What? You know about Hamal Tizo? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, since apparently my dad was never around to hear that one, we're bringing in an expert on the subject, our cousin Michael, <laughs> to tell us a little bit about this superstition. Michael, can you please tell the people who Hamal Tizo is? <laughs> So apparently this like mythical creature used to live in the bathroom, especially inside of like the toilet. And basically it's a way to like scare us from like, you know, going like staying in the bathroom for too long or to get us to not do anything like wrong. We're gonna like put you in the bathroom and lock you in and get him out of Fizo <laughs> to come and <laughs> to come and like uh, you know do something to you. So that's the that's the beginning of it. Yeah. So I figured Interesting. This, I, I never heard of that. I figured this was unique to our family, but apparently there's an equivalent of this in Lebanon called Abu Peace. And basically, he's half man, half mythical beast to take away kids anytime they've been bad. So, pretty funny. Set me straight. After you hit the like and subscribe button, please drop in the comments your favorite superstitions from your culture that you've heard. We love learning about this kind of stuff, so we look forward to seeing it, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.